it's only me, Claire Baker, former Clutterholic founder of ClutterClearing.net, bringing you my weekly vlog about my own clutter clearing journey, which is related to my weight loss journey. Uh, join me here in, in uh, Banbury. It's feeling like it's going to rain today. It's not supposed to. Glorious sunshine yesterday. Uh, I hope it's uh, good where you are. So how has your week been? Uh, my week been actually, my week has actually been good. Um, I weighed myself this morning, it's Tuesday, and I had stayed the same, which uh, on the one hand is frustrating. However, um, as you may know, I weigh myself on a Saturday uh, as well. And when I weighed myself on Saturday, I had lost three pounds. And on Sunday, we had a barbecue for friends and family. Uh, and I did drink, I think probably most of a bottle of wine spread over, um, that was spread over about eight hours. Um, so I, I didn't feel drunk, um, but I did think, you know what? I fancy having uh, some wine. Um, and I did munch at the end of the end of the evening uh, on the crisps uh, that were left over. Um, so I had more carbs and sugar than, than I'd expect. Oh, and I three pieces of mother-in-law's infamous carrot cake. Um, we, we asked her if she could make two uh, because of the number of people that were coming went down very well. People liking mother-in-law's carrot cake. Um, I love her carrot cake. I had three pieces. Um, so there's one piece left in the fridge, which is gonna be for Leslie, the administrator who turns up today. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm actually really pleased uh, that week to week I've managed to stay the same. Who knows, it might be that the effects of Sunday kind of, you know, would show itself on the scales in the next couple of days. Um, but um, like I say, have, having done my Saturday weigh-in and seeing a three pound weight loss, I was really pleased. Um, so again, it's that thing of there's a reason why uh, I've stayed the same this week, which is a, a not a regular thing. So. This is gonna sound weird, but although I have been bobbing up and down around this weight loss and this weight level, I do still feel that I've shifted it and that I am on that <laughs> losing streak uh, again, which is where I want to be. So um, yeah, and I think it's really important that you don't deny yourself when you do have special occasions, um, because for me, I have dreamt about being able to do this garden for 10 years. Um, haven't had the time, haven't had the money, and actually more importantly, I think with hindsight, wasn't in the right headspace to be creative and do what I wanted to do. Um, and waiting 10 years to do something means that your ideas naturally uh, evolve. Um, but to be able to share it with friends and family on Sunday uh, just gave me that really good warm fuzzy feeling. Uh, looking down the garden from here, we have the, the big table out here uh, and down the end, my husband was doing the, the, the barbecuing down on the patio. Um, and I just had that moment where I kind of took it in and just went, it's so lovely to see friends and family enjoying themselves, laughing, chatting didn't have to try and get conversation going, you know, between anyone or with anyone. You know, we know nice people uh, who are sociable and, and um, you know, you can stick them together and, and it's no effort. Uh, and that is something I've wanted to do in this garden for 10 years. So that gave me huge, huge joy. Of course, the cat scarpered. Uh, they completely disappeared. Um, took refuge in the in the the office uh, i had done an eye spy sheet for the children because i'm very conscious we have a small garden it's narrow uh children can get bored quite easily um so we had eye spy and i put on things like bees and butterflies and frogs and fish and i put the cats on as well <laughs> um just to keep them occupied a bit they were also equally occupied by the uh, the jars that i'd f i'd filled one with um starburst i know them as opal fruits uh, minstrels and M&Ms uh, and my husband's doing quite a good job finishing them off actually uh, he sat there and just basically ate a quarter of a jar of opal fruits 
uh, yesterday. He was in the office, a uh, bit of a sugar high. I did apologise to all the parents about the sugar high that I had uh, created in their children. Uh, ice creams went down quite well with them. Um, but again, it's just, you know, again, weight, my weight was insignificant on Sunday because it was about enjoying time, making memories, um, uh, doing something I, like I say, I've, I've, I've wanted to do uh, sort of for, for 10 years. Um, so it was really, really good. Um, and in a way I see it as a bonus that, that I have stayed the same. I haven't gained weight as a result. Obviously I have compared to my weigh-in on Saturday, uh, but I know I can lose the weight. So that's important. Did feel really sluggish yesterday, um, as did my husband, because he drank quite a lot of alcohol over the weekend. Not masses, uh, but for him, again, we don't really drink now, so, um, and he was mixing on Sunday. <laughs> Did he have, I think he ended up on sherry because he went around looking for, for drink and we only had a bottle of sherry left. Um, so, uh, and we had, a, we went to a beer festival on Saturday uh, where he was drinking beer. So he doesn't normally drink, so um, both feeling a bit sluggish. Uh, still went to the gym yesterday not feeling great but did it and that's the important thing because we didn't go on friday because the mother-in-law had come up so um yeah good week so uh in terms of the five uh success factors that i always mention uh, every week so the feedback and learning um i'm kind of in two minds about whether or not i switch my recorded weight uh, and weigh in to a saturday um, because then if I am doing anything over the weekend, um, then it won't necessarily show <laughs> on the on the Tuesday. Um, now that we are able to do more social things and activities, uh, it means it is more likely that I am doing things on a, on a weekend so that it would show on a Tuesday. Um, I know over a period of time, obviously, it will equal itself out. Um, but maybe, maybe... Uh, I'll use Saturday uh, as the recorded the, the recorded weight. Um, learning, I can do this. Um, and again, I've only had one day where it's it's not uh, I've I've not been strict. It was only Sunday that I wasn't strict. Saturday at the beer festival, uh, you know, I was on sparkling water. We went out for dinner. I had a steak. I gave my husband my chips. Uh, I had a cheese board for dinner uh, for dessert. Didn't eat the crackers. So again you know, kind of, I've got this, I've got this. Um, so yeah, all good. Oh, and of course the, the, the important feedback, like I mentioned, is that uh, we have really nice friends um, and uh, to be able to see them socializing amongst themselves as well as us having fun with them, obviously, uh, is, is just really nice. Uh, again, that's planning. Um, you know, I'd, I'd planned what we were gonna offer, how it was gonna work. Um, which which made life a lot easier on the day. I was actually able to enjoy it, uh, which is good. Uh, support, uh, counselling. I have counselling today. I've only got a couple more weeks of counselling because my counsellor goes on a uh, holiday uh, for, for the whole of August. Not necessarily away holiday, but she, she doesn't do counselling during August. Um, so um, not aware of anything today that I particularly want to talk about, but uh, I'm sure we'll find something. Um, and of course, my husband being supportive as well. Um, and doing the TRE, um, he had he had a bit of a breakthrough with that last week, which was great. Um, so yeah, support as always is really important. You may find that as well that that actually support that you don't even necessarily realise um, that is there, either until it's not, or until after the fact. Actually, um, support. Brenda um, had left a really good suggestion last week. So thank you, Brenda. Brenda from Canada. Is it Brenda? Or it may have been Anne. Oh, so sorry, I can't remember who it was. I know you both left comments that were really good. Anyway, the comments were, the, the com in synopsis, about, because I, I was talking last week about changing my snacks, which I did do. Um, Low-fat cottage cheese. Although, surprising how much carbs is in a pot of cottage cheese. Um, I think it was 15 grams and I'm on a maximum of 20 a day. 20 grams a day and a pot of low-fat cottage cheese uh, added up to about 15 so I was quite surprised at that uh, but either Brenda or Anne suggested 
um, that they eat carrot buttons and celery sticks and stuff. I don't eat carrot, but but I did. I don't tell anybody. Last Wednesday we went to the gym, and on the way back, my husband was hungry. He couldn't be bothered to, to cook anything. We got home, so we popped into Sainsbury's, the supermarket, and he got a massive pizza, which actually, when we got it home, was so big we weren't quite sure we were going to get it in the oven, and a pack of six cream cakes. That was his dinner. And he actually photographed it and put it on Facebook saying, been to the gym, my reward. Um, and I hate the fact that he can eat a massive pizza and six cream cakes and it doesn't show. Um, anyway, I picked up a bag of courgettes, a bag of celery and a, a bag of cucumber, uh, a stick of cucumber and a pot of cottage, uh, cottage cheese. He also photographed that also put that on Facebook as a comparison and said, oh, Claire, this is Claire Snack, looks dodgy to me. <laughs> uh, so it did make me feel a bit virtuous. Talking of it, um, we've got broccoli down there growing in our veg patch. Uh, and last night, Monday's a fast day for me, so I have my, my three egg omelette. Uh, but my husband and my mother-in-law, uh, I went and cut off the first few florets of uh, broccoli and they had them for dinner. And it just felt so great because again, all this patience, all this time, just waiting for, for things to grow in the garden. Uh, and it just felt, this is why I'm doing this. This is the, like the piece de resistance of, yeah, it looks beautiful uh, in the ground, huge plants for, for broccoli, for the head. Um, but uh, literally going out to the field, cutting off some broccoli, not the whole plant, just a few florets, bringing it back, popping it in the pan. You cannot get fresher or healthier than that. So uh, really pleased uh, about that. I'm gonna have some tonight. Um, so yeah, uh, again, these little things that, that are kind of like reminders and motivators uh, that actually patience pays off. Um, and uh, you know, if you, if you imagine it, uh, you can create it. At uh, time, patience. Um, this time last year, uh, I didn't even realise that I could uh, do a barbecue and have the friends and family around like I wanted, and ob but obviously that's, that's happened. Uh, I kind of imagined that at Christmas and it's come true, um, which is lovely. I actually got a reminder on Facebook uh, last week that it's a year since this decking was done and underneath here is massive open space for all the wildlife. Um, and I cannot believe how much it has changed in a year and matured in a year, sort of settled down. The plants, the plants have grown and, and filled and, and look happy. So um, again, a reminder that in just a year time, a year, a huge amount can change. Doing the doing, going to the gym, um, tracking my, my food intake on my app, really important. Uh, today, because I had a touch of a cold over the weekend, not huge, not massive, just head cold in the morning that finally cleared. Um, rather than cottage cheese today, I'm gonna have brie. Um, but that's fine, I've allowed for that. Um, and obviously the method, I know the method works. Exercise contributes towards 20% of the weight loss uh, and food contributes to 80%. Uh, with the support of the counselling and the, and the TRE for the stress, uh, it's all working. So uh, yeah, good week, happy, oh, it's get, wind's picking up. Uh, good week, uh, hope yours was to keep the comments coming in. Sorry, Brenda, sorry, Anne. Um, I should have printed off uh, the comments that you left because you know you take the time and trouble to share. I forgot, sorry. I will share them next week, I promise. Uh, I, in fact, I will print them off after I, I've recorded this, ready for next week. Um, so, thank you for watching as always. I hope your journey, whether it be a physical clutter in your home or a weight clutter like mine, uh, I hope your journey is going well. Um, and uh, onwards and upwards, here's to uh, another good week. All right, I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.